What's going on everybody? Been a little while since I've made a video. I've got a stack of stuff to show off. I got some uh, other stuff coming in, some pretty nice stuff, but I want to go ahead and shoot a video since it's been like freaking forever. Um, this is a little hodgepodge of all kinds of crap, so I'll go ahead and jump into it. Uh, up first, I have two uh, Raz winnings. Um, this first one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I love it. It's a gorgeous card, but it doesn't, it fits my PC in a sense, but then again, it doesn't. Um, but this is from 2006, Leaf Certified Materials, and this is the Freshman Fabric Emerald autograph of AJ Hawk with a two-color patch, piece of football, a uh, piece of the helmet, and a piece of the shoe. Really nice autograph. Emeralds is Packer, right? I mean, all Packers fans love the Emerald cards, and uh, it just doesn't get any better. And that thing is numbered two out of five. So, happy to win that. And next, we've got this one. Um, I'm not sure what the year on this is when this was done, but it's basically a buyback autograph that was uh, certified by Upper Deck Authentic right there with the hologram we'll fold it up and this is what the item is this is from 1993 Upper Deck from the Upper Deck IOS collection I, I don't know if that's how you sp uh, pronounce his name but his name was Walter IOS Jr. And, well it might still be his name. I don't know if he's still alive or not. But this guy was an amazing photographer. And he made this insert collection for 1993 Upper Deck. And Upper Deck bought back these cards and had Mr. Brett sign them right on there. Won this card. Got it for six bucks in raffle. So, awesome card. Um, I remember pulling these from 93 Upper Deck. Uh, this whole set, all the player pictures were phenomenal. And uh, I remember the Griffey was the big one everyone he wanted. And it was such a cool card. But, uh, yeah, big, huge, bold, on-card autograph. George Brett. Upper Deck Authenticated. Six bucks. Hard to go wrong with that. But, there you can kind of see it right there. By my thumb, you can see the way the light hits that all kinds of funky. It's because there's a huge ass dimple right in the middle of the card that was conveniently left out of the Raz listing. But instead of listening to excuses like, oh man, I, I didn't know it was there, I, I can't believe it's there, I, I would have said something. Um, I didn't even contact the guy I wanted off of because I just didn't want to listen to that shit. But super cool card it's not going anywhere it's for me so that's what i got there um these next two are alan and ginter pickups one of them i already had but i could not pass up this was on auction and anything in the middle of the day the last several of these uh one of them the most recent one ended at 54 dollars on a buy now and then there are a few on auction that ended right around the 35 40 dollar range and this one was still under $10 with not very long to go. So I waited on it, watched it, watched it stay cheap. I threw down a bid, got this card for, I think, $20 and some change, something like that. But I already have a copy, so I have an idea what I'm going to do with this card. So it's not available, just saying. But uh, from 2013, it's the uh, Mike McCarthy, Green Bay Packers head coach, uh, Benny Framed Autograph. Beautiful, big, full signature. But anyway, got a great deal on this card. I already have an idea of where I'm going to be uh, shipping this off to. So, happy to pick that one up. Now, this one, I did not have and I wanted. Um, love watching this guy's shows uh, on the Travel uh, Travel Network. And he's most recently being seen in the Walmart steak commercials, which is crazy. But, hey, he's getting paid, so... 
whatever. I'd say whatever I wanted, or whatever they asked me to as well. But anyway, from Man vs. Food fame, we got Mr. Adam Richmond with uh, a really good autograph on there. Most of his autographs are pretty awful. This one isn't, I mean, this is about as good as it gets for this guy, so... Got that. I actually had to pay a pretty decent chunk of money for this. I think I ended up paying like 25 bucks plus shipping. But super cool one to have in the collection. Really like him. Um, now on to some new... I'd say it's a side little mini PC. Because it's not a player that I've collected before. But I'm collecting a very specific... Uh, very specific cards of him. Uh, 2011, 12, and 13 uh, Tops cards, Tops products. Uh, Tops, Tops Chrome, and Tops Mini. Just because I love the photos they used of him. And this guy, every time he was on, uh, uh, every time he's interviewed on TV, he's just a fucking weirdo. And I love it because he's just hilarious. Um, and he looks absolutely crazy intimidating in his pictures. So, the former closer of the uh, San Francisco Giants, Brian Wilson. I picked up a little stack of his stuff because I got it really cheap. Um, but this one is from 2012. Oops, 2012 Tops Chrome. Got the blue refractor. And that is numbered 72 out of 199. Love the chrome stuff. Got that one. And then my favorite one, my favorite one of his, uh, favorite design is his 2011 Topps Chrome. Uh, this is the black refractor numbered 26 out of 100. I just love that photo. That's what he does after he gets his, uh, uh, finishes the game. Crosses the arms and points with the big crazy beard. Love the black refractors. Like I said, numbered out of 100. Also from 2011 Chrome, we've got the blue refractor, and that one is numbered uh, 87 out of 99, so the 99 version. Um, my favorite looking uh, card of all of them, uh, numbered out of 225, the Atomic Refractor. These cards are nuts. Love those. So numbered. 173 out of 225. Then from 2000 and 2011, uh, Tops Update, I believe, is what this is from. Uh, yeah, MLB All Star for the 2011 game in Arizona. Um, this is the Tops Diamond Anniversary, the Cognac Diamond. All the crazy uh, sparkle there. I was talking about these with uh, John Smitty last night. Sent him a picture of uh, a couple of these. Uh, looks like stripper glitter. But uh, great looking card there. Not numbered. Still just a cool looking card. Got that card for $1. So uh, This is my first one of these. I was uh, just commenting on... Um, uh, whose video was it? Uh, Nick. Yankees fan 95. I was commenting on his video about the uh, the silk cards. And I didn't have one uh, because Clay Matthews only has one, and that's from 2009 Topps Mayo, which is basically non-existent. I have never seen the card anywhere, and I don't know that people just didn't bust the product or that was a set that um, Master Collectors built, so anytime any of them were out there, they were gobbled up way back in 2009 before I started collecting them. But anyway... I got one of Brian Wilson for the 2011 Topps uh, design, number 10 out of 50. Things are really freaking cool. Like those, a lot like the Alan Ginter cards. Um, just neat. And then, what we got here? Ah, yes, this card. This is probably the favorite one I have of all his stuff so far. Uh, it's from 2011 Tops as well. This is the Diamond Anniversary Hope Diamond Parallel. It is freaking nasty, gorgeous card. 
don't have the best light in here. I would shoot outside, but it's hotter than balls and there's not any breeze, so I didn't want to sit out in that. Uh, but damn pretty sparkle there. And that one is numbered 31 out of 60. Short printed there. But awesome card. And then from 2000, this is the one card that's not off of the top set, but these are beautiful. Got it really cheap because all his stuff is cheap. So I picked it up just because I love the design of the card, and I have now dropped it twice, but luckily it's in top order and protected. Uh, number 22 out of 25 from 2012, Bowman. We've got the Red Ice. parallel these things just dance in the light really sweet design by tops and bowman with that one but yeah 22 out of 25 sweet looking card and then the last brian wilson in this video this is from 2012 tops mini yeah yeah 2012 tops mini this is the silver border really cool photo there but yeah silver border I think it's number two out of five super cool card there so I got those and now I'm gonna finish off the video with some clay pickups um, that's what my next video will mainly be focused on is clay Matthew stuff um, I'm going to be pretty busy here with all the new products coming out, trying to chase down all the rare shit as soon as it hits, so we'll see. But these cards, um, one of them is a double, but I, I got I got these uh, two patch cards off of the same seller. And it was funny because he had them listed, one of them for $19.99 and one of them for $10.99. Well, I messaged him and offered him and said, hey... I'll give you $35 for the pair if you'll just sell them to me outright. Well, he didn't want to do that because he wanted to see how the auctions went. And uh, he told me, he goes, how about if you bid on them and win them and you're the only person that bids, I will sell them both to you for $25. i am like, well, shit, okay, yeah, whatever. That, that works for me. Well, yeah, I was the only one who bid, so... Good for me, bad for him. And he cost himself 10 bucks. It's stupid. Just sell them to me when I make you a fair offer. But anyway, it worked out. He held up his end of the deal, so I was happy with that. But from 2011 Donruss Elite, this is a card I did not have. This is the Hit List Prime. Got a two-color patch with stitching in there. Um, there's been a few of these listed, but they've all been one-color white patches, so... To be able to get a two color, that's what I was waiting on. One finally popped up, so I snabbed it. Number 19 out of 50. And then this one, I've already got a copy of this card that Mr. Jason Bigfish 7499 sent me. Absolutely love it. One of my favorite cards in my entire clay PC. Uh, he was kind enough to just send it to me. It, ridiculous. Um, and I saw this one pop up and Anytime these pop up, I'm going to go after them because they're just freaking gorgeous. From 2011, uh, certified fabric of the game. We've got the NFL cutout prime. Two color, one color, two color. All have stitching in them. Beautiful freaking card. Love these things. And that is numbered 2 out of 25. So... As I've said multiple times, I do not mind having doubles and triples and mass amounts of any cards I truly like. So, happy to have that one. And then I'm going to end it with this right here uh, from the new, uh, from the Father's Day packs. People were busting them quite a bit earlier, like several days earlier than Father's Day because... I guess there are some people out there who don't follow rules and will just open shit up and be the first ones on eBay. That way they could make all the profit because they're douchebags. And I wish Panini and other companies, when they run promotions like this, I wish they cracked down on their dealers that uh, put stuff out before it's supposed to be. It's, it's just wrong. It's not how you're supposed to do business. But whatever. Anyway, not my deal. 
I was happy it popped up. Uh, numbered 11 out of 15 from the new Father's Day packs. We've got the Select Emerald Prism. That is so damn pretty. When I saw these were out there and they were only going to be short printed to 15, I was like, holy shit. I have to have one. And I got one. Numbered 11 out of 15. Absolutely gorgeous with the, like I said, the emerald, uh, emerald rainbow refractor look to it. Um, I loved it so much that uh, I had to get a second one because that's just the way it is. And uh, this one's numbered 1 out of 15. So I have two of those. So, yeah, that's my video. That's all I've got. I just wanted to make one because it's been quite a while since I made one. Probably a couple weeks or so. I don't remember. But, yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. This video has now gone over 16 minutes because I'm talking too damn much. But, anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Thanks for watching. And talk to you later.